just how important our work is, and it demonstrates your support and commitment to our school system, and for that we thank you for being here. Monroe County Schools is committed to developing students with the knowledge and skills necessary for them to be successful in a global environment. We believe that all children, regardless of race, creed, or circumstance, can learn, grow, and achieve their full potential. Our task is to make that possible each and every day. In just a few minutes, you will hear from our superintendent, Dr. Mike Hickman. His goal is to share with you the performance of our students, review our areas of focus, and discuss the opportunities for improvement that will help us achieve our vision for our students now and in the future. As educators, it is incumbent upon us to engage our parents, community members, and leaders in ways that are aligned with critical outcomes to impact student achievement. Your expertise helps contribute to our district's success and to the solutions needed to meet the needs of our youth. We are looking forward to working with you and for continuing our partnership to help prepare our students to be ready for all that lies ahead of them after graduating from high school. Again, thank you for supporting our school system and for being here today. And at this time, Jackson Daniel will provide the invocation as well as instructions for lunch. Good afternoon. So before the invocation, a couple of items of housekeeping. One restrooms so are over here to my left. And so um, don't worry about interfering with the camera. There's plenty of room to get through. Um, we want to thank our school nutrition program who's been working hard all morning to provide the meal. And um, <laughs> we um, will give instructions after the invocation to go down. There will be two sides going down the line, but we'll talk about that again in a minute. I do want to mention that um, the next few weeks there will be a lot of events happening in this building. A lot of Christmas events and on the table where you signed in is a calendar that list all of our school events and then our visiting performers that are coming in on December 15th. And we hope that you will take that calendar and at least attend a few of the events or all of them. We would love to have you at all of them. The other thing that I want to mention, um, you are the first to be receiving this uh, school system at a glance. This is a new publication that our technology department has been working on and we're rolling it out to you today. It's just a handy card take with you. If you want some extras, ask and we would be more than happy to provide them. They're a good snapshot of our school system for visitors or for folks that are looking to come into the community and we would love for you to make use of those and help spread our word. Um, the last thing that I want to mention and as we go to the Lord in prayer to ask for prayers today for our board member Phil Walker who was readmitted to Navison Health last night. Uh, and is listed right now in critical condition. So if you will please, as we pray, uh, remember Phil and remember his family um, as, as they go through this time. So a few days ago, we celebrated a holiday intended for gratitude. In the next few days, we enter the season of hope. These are qualities of life that we hope we have every day, not just during this holiday season. So if you'll keep that in mind and join me for a word of prayer and a word of invocation. Let us bow our heads. Dear Father, we gather today as a grateful and hopeful group of people. We are thankful to be a part of a community which values education and wants what is best for its young people. We are hopeful that the best days are still to come. We thank you for the teachers and the custodians, the parapros and the bus drivers, the counselors, the administrators, the cafeteria workers, the coaches, the media specialists, and the board members, all of whom at this moment are on the job helping our children grow and succeed in whatever direction their life will take them. We thank you for the backing of a community which is always ready to support their children in the classroom, on the playing field, or the performance stage, and as they are nurtured to become the next generation of leadership. We thank you that we can gather here to celebrate accomplishments and to recognize that there is always more work to be done. We thank you for the food that we will soon receive, for the hands which have prepared it, and we just pray that it will strengthen us to continue the tasks necessary to provide a bright future for our children, our neighborhoods, our town, our state, and our country. 
Please help us recognize the blessings that we all have as individuals, as a school system, and as a community. As an ever thankful and ever hopeful people, we come together as one voice, and in your gracious name we say, Amen. Amen. All right, if, um, why don't we start here in the front, so if you'll go down and Ms. Singley will be giving directions on serving food, you'll go around towards the doors and then come back down. The front. <laughs> Okay, give, give her just a minute or two to take the covers off. And so, um, Ms. Elder, count about two minutes and then you can lead the way. And we'll start with this table and go back. 